Hi friends, welcome to M Sigma Google's Co Career Hub series. Today we are doing this continuation video of IC, ISRO's Scientist Engineer post. So if you have not watched our video number one, we will be pinning our uh, video in the i button. You can watch it and come here. In this video, we will be in detail be looking into the eligibility. That is already in the notification. It's mentioned the ISR exam can be applied for mechanical, EC, and CS. But if you look deeper into the notification, you could find that not only mechanical and ECCS students can apply, but also all the allied branches students can also apply. So today we have Dr. K. Rangadhan sir with us. Sir will be helping us to go through in uh, go into detail of these things. Okay, over to you, sir. Okay, Th uh, thank you, Arjun. Welcome, friends. Now this is regarding the eligibility. Okay, there are a lot of doubts uh, about, uh, for example, I am an aeronautical student, I am an instrumentation student, whether I can write uh, the uh, exam, written exam by ISRO. Actually, ISRO is not conducting the exam for all the branches like GATE. GATE is conducting in 30 subjects. So, whereas ISRO is only few. What I have told is the allied branches also can write the respective of the main branch. Okay, we will go through in detail. What they wanted is uh, exactly BE BTEC, okay, mm -hmm. or BSc Engineering. It can be after diploma, it can be part time BTEC, all are acceptable. Okay, but correspondence codes BE BTEC, it is they are not eligible. Okay, coming to the AME, AMIE. Uh, there is a Supreme Court order in 2013. After, after 2013, uh, those who have passed the AMIE is mm -hmm. not equivalent to BE BTEC. So, this advertisement also they have told AMIE passed before 2013. That is the first. So, uh, okay. So, the, they wanted BE BTEC compulsorily. And they also told that this degree should be completed uh, within the period stipulated by the university that is four years be btec you should have completed in four years not more okay kindly note and they uh, they wanted in your degree certificate either 65 percent average mark should be printed or 6.84 cgpa is to be printed one printing is compulsory right uh, they will not do any conversion work okay there, uh, there was a uh, one doubt uh, I have scored only 64% average mark, mm -hmm. but my CGPA is more than that. Right. Okay. okay, whether I am eligible? No. If it is, they have printed 64% means you are not eligible. Okay. What is printed is? Uh, yeah, printed. They it's want, they will not convert. They will not use your conversion factor. Sir, one so, more thing, uh, small doubt, whether uh, it should be, it's telling that it should be completed in four uh, years. Uh, right? Four years, yeah. But if they are having supplementary and if they are not completed in four years, no, there is a problem. Supplementary they can uh, have, but they should have completed the degree in four years. No, if, if, they, if a student is passed out in 2018, uh -huh. but they have backlogs. He cleared the backlog in 2019 or 2020. No, no, they are not eligible. Only four years yes. they should have completed the uh, BE beta. Okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. Backlog, right. not a, backlog is not a problem, but when the at the time of pass out here, all the papers should be clear, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Please note that. Okay. Uh, there is no relaxation in educational qualification uh, and marks. But age relaxation is available for reserved candidates. Kindly note it. So, now this is uh, another important point. Eligible branches for electronics. Okay. Who are the people can write EC, electronics paper in GATE? Okay. There are nearly 15, 20 uh, papers are there. If you are seeing industrial uh, electronics, control, avionics, uh, electrical, instrumentation people, power electronics, all those people should write uh, electronics. Electronics. Okay. okay. And similarly, for the mechanical, there are 24 branches are eligible to write the mechanical paper, uh, especially aeronautical, aeros aerospace, industrial, production, manufacturing, uh, material science, metallurgy people, material science, all has to write uh, mechanical only. Okay. And the third one, similarly for computer science also, all computer that big data analysis, machine learning, uh, uh, security, all those things, artificial intelligence, everything they have given. All these people have to write uh, CS only. 
ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു സർ സി ഐ തിങ്ക് യു ഗോട്ട് എ ക്ലിയർ പിക്ചർ ഹു ആൻഡ് ഓൾ കൺ അപ്ലൈ ദറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഈവൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫോർ ഇ സി മെക്കാനിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് സി എസ് ഓൾ ദ അലൈഡ് ബ്രാഞ്ചസ് ദീസ് മച്ച് ബ്രാഞ്ചസ് കൻ അപ്ലൈ so if even if you are from aeronautical or uh, ai or any allied branches do apply you have a seat there <laughs> or you can crack and get into isro anyway we will be there to help you we have the isro programs with us we have already mentioned in the last video anyway we will be giving all the details in the description box if you have any doubt or if you are looking to uh, prepare for isro exams do reach out to us we will be very happy to help you thank you thank you